We just finished up the second quarter of 2024 and we're headed into the peak summer months. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the most recent sales numbers and home prices here in the community of Terramore. Hi, my name is Casey, and on this channel, I share information about the communities of Trilogy at Glen Ivy and the community of Terramore here in Corona. And I share this information to keep homeowners up to date with the value of their homes. But I also share this information for people considering making the move to these communities. So if you find this kind of information helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so let's get started. We just finished up the second quarter of 2024, but we are starting to see some changes in the housing market. And as we go into the summer months, which are typically the busiest, things are a little slower than usual. So let's take a look at sales numbers for the second quarter of 2024 and see if we can figure out what's going on. And these numbers will include the homes sold between April 1st and June 30th of 2024 in the 55 and older sections of Terramore. And if you stick around till the end, I'll show you the numbers for the all ages section of Terramore 2. Okay, the first number I wanna share is the average sales price and the average sales price of a home in the 55 and older section of Terramore was 682,649. And prices range from a low of 614,000 up to a high of 799,000. And that's a pretty significant drop from the first quarter of this year when the average sales price was 838,000. It's actually a drop of 18 and a half percent. And when people hear this number, they always ask me, is the market crashing? But I really don't think so. And let me explain to you why. I think this is one of those times when the numbers can be a little misleading. The first thing to consider is there isn't a huge turnover rate here in Terramore, so we don't have a lot of homes sold each quarter. In fact, there were only six homes sold in the first quarter and just seven in the second quarter. So when you average out these numbers, if you have one that's significantly higher or lower than the rest, it can really affect the average. And I think that's what happened this quarter. If you look back at the first quarter, we did have one home that sold for $1.2 million, and that's significantly higher than most homes here in Terramore. And when you factor in a big number like this, the average did go up. But in the second quarter, we just didn't have any homes sell in that higher price range. And if you look at the map of Terramore, you'll see that four of the seven homes sold in the second quarter were actually new construction homes in the Cedarwood section. And these homes are only about 1,300 square feet in size, which is smaller than most homes in Terramore. So it makes sense that the price of these homes will be lower too. And these lower price homes did affect the average this quarter. So I don't think the market's crashing, but I do feel like the rising interest rates and the economy are having an impact on the housing market here. So it will be important to watch and see how things go as we move through the summer months. Next, let's take a look at the highest priced homes sold in Terramore. And as I just mentioned, we didn't have any record breaking sales this quarter, but the highest priced home sold was located at 23968 Saunter Way. And this was a very nice two bedroom, two bath home located in the Iron Tree neighborhood by Del Webb. It had 1,746 square feet of living space and was located on a good sized lot with a large backyard and nice views of the mountains. And the owner had done a lot of nice upgrades to this home and it was absolutely beautiful on the inside. And this was the highest priced home sold during the second quarter at $799,000. Next, let's take a look at the number of homes that were actually sold. And during the second quarter of 2024, there were just seven homes sold in the 55 and older sections of Terramore. And this is very similar to what we saw in the first quarter when we had just six homes sold. Next, let's take a look at the average days on market. The average number of days it took to sell a home in Terramore was 27 days. And again, very similar to the first quarter when it took an average of 36 days to sell a home. And finally, I wanna share with you the number of homes currently for sale. And right now, there are 16 homes for sale in the 55 and older section of Terramore. And the prices range from a low of 730,000 up to a high of $1,190,000. So just a quick recap of the 55 and older section. The average sales price of a home was 682,649. The highest priced home sold was priced at 799,000. There were just seven homes sold during the second quarter. The average number of days it took to sell a home was 27 days. And finally, there are 16 homes currently for sale in the 55 and older section of Terramore. And if you're curious about home sales in the all ages section of Terramore, I have those numbers too. The average sales price was 787,816. The highest price home sold was 845,817. There were a total of 34 homes sold in the second quarter, and it took an average of 75 days to sell a home. And right now, there are 24 homes currently for sale in the all ages section of Terramore. 
So here's my take on what's happening in the real estate market right now. Things are definitely slowing down. And I really think there are two reasons for this. One is mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are still right around 7%. And this simply makes buying a home less affordable. And the second thing is inflation. And as much as people try to downplay inflation, it is having an impact on home sales. Prices for just about everything have gone up significantly and budgets are being stretched very thin. And many of the buyers that I'm working with are being very cautious right now. Now they haven't stopped looking for a home altogether, but they aren't willing to overpay for a home either. So if you're gonna sell your home in today's market, it's more important than ever to price your home correctly. And why is that? Well, the supply of homes for sale is increasing and that means buyers have more options. And we are seeing homes sit on the market a little bit longer now too. And sellers are having to make price reductions in order to get their homes sold. And the reality is, if your home is priced too high, buyers will simply move on to the next one. So take your time and really go over the recent sales numbers so you can see what homes are actually selling for before you decide on a price for your home. Okay, so that's our recap for home prices for the second quarter of 2024 for the community of Terramore. If you made it this far, I wanna thank you for sticking around and watching until the end. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions about the housing market or the value of your home here in Terramore or Trilogy, just let me know. I'll put my cell phone number up on the screen and all of my contact information is located down in the description below.